For years, Pro Tools users have been scratching their heads wondering when they are going to see support for stereo interleaved files. See, in the old days, Pro Tools used to handle stereo recordings by splitting them into multi-mono files, one file being the left, one file being the right. And thus comes a hearty cheer from the Pro Tools masses. Finally, Pro Tools supports stereo interleaved files. Now, my little bit of sarcasm notwithstanding, this really is a much needed and much asked for update. Now, not only can we record stereo interleaf files, we can also import them as well. Whereas in older versions of Pro Tools, we'd have to go through a whole conversion process. Import audio. Convert audio. Change or adjust sample rate. Quality, better, best. In the rear. When you create a new session, you now have the option to set that session up with stereo interleave files and compatibility. So, new session. Right down at the bottom far left corner, stereo interleaved. Now, if you have an existing session that you didn't set up with stereo interleaved when you first created the session, you can always change it so that the session is compatible with it by getting into the session startup. So, going Command 2. And from here, you can select stereo interleaved. And from here on in, stereo interleaved files are now compatible with your session. I have no idea why it took until version 10 for this function to be supported, but hey, better late than never. Leads us into the next topic for mixed audio file formats. So, what I've done is I've taken this clip, this piece of audio, and I've rendered this down and bounced it to five different file format types at different bit depths, sample rates. Now I'm going to import these into a brand new session. For a new session, go Command N, or you can go to File, New Session. And I'm going to leave this at Wave. I'm going to leave the bit depth to 24 bit. I'm going to leave it to 48K. Interleave is checked and hit OK. Save it, going to call it File, Test, Save. All right, so I'm going to import these five different files into the session just by dragging them all in timeline. These files are made up of an AIFF file at 24 bit, 88 kilohertz, an MP3 at 32 kilohertz, a Sound Designer 2 file at 16 bit, 16 kilohertz, and a Sound Designer 2 file is a file that was. Pro Tools systems, a wave file at 32 bits, 48 kilohertz, and another wave file at 16 bits, 44 1. So let's select them all. Gonna bring them in. Just like that. So now, since Pro Tools has support for mixed audio file formats, file types all living nicely in this one session the usual regular way of importing audio through the file menu. Going up to file, import audio, or you can do the quick key command, shift command I, and here are the audio files that I want to bring in. Now at this point in the process with older Pro Tools versions, prompt us to convert these files first, adding them into the session, but now, just simply add them all in, and you can see just because we're adding them in, the convert section doesn't open up and doesn't give us any options because we're not converting it, we're just bringing it in. Done. Support for mixed audio file formats.